SS exchange in plants. We are now going to talk about gaseous exchange in plants. How does gaseous exchange take place in plants? Uh, what we are going to look at, we are going mainly to look at the opening of the stomata and then the closing of the stomata. Those are the two main activities that are involved in gaseous exchange in plants. Now we shall start with the uh, opening of the stomata. You will find that uh, the stomatas have what we call the guard cells and these guard cells have chloroplasts the guard cells carry out photosynthesis in the sunlight and uh, they manufacture glucose and uh, the manufactured glucose in the guard cell increases the osmotic pressure of the guard cell when the osmotic pressure of the guard cell increases, this forces the water to move into the guard cell by osmosis from the surrounding cells. Now, when water enters into the guard cells, the turgidity of the guard cell increases more than in the epidermal cells. Epidermal cells are those cells surrounding the gut cells. And in the process, the inner wall of the gut cells becomes thick. It thickens. And the outer wall stretches. That is, uh, it stretches more than the inner wall. Then the inner wall will bulge. When the inner wall bulges outwards, the stomata opens. And when the stomata opens, then gaseous exchange takes place. So we are saying that gaseous exchange in plants takes place because of two processes, the opening of the stomata and the closing of the stomata. And we have seen what causes the stomata to open. We have seen that the stomata has guard cells and the guard cells have got chlorophyll, which chlorophyll takes part in the photosynthesis that is when there is light and in the process, the products of photosynthesis, there is always glucose which is manufactured and this manufactured glucose is the one that is raising the osmotic pressure of the gut cell. And because of the higher osmotic pressure of the gut cell, it forces the water to move into the gut cell from the surrounding cells by osmosis. This turgidity in the gut cell increases more than in the epidermal cell. And the inner wall of the guard cell thickens, whereas the outer wall stretches more than the inner wall. In the process, the inner wall will bulge outward. And then when it bulges outwards, the stomata opens. And then gaseous exchange is allowed to take place. Now, when we look at uh, the stomata, closure how the stomata closes usually the closing of the stomata is at night at night there is no photosynthesis this means that the glucose that was manufactured during the daytime is going to be converted to starch and when it is converted to starch this lowers the osmotic pressure of the guard cell than in the epidermal cells. The epidermal cells withdraw water from the guard cells because their osmotic pressure is above that one of the guard cells. In the process, the guard cells become fra fracid. They become fracid 
the thinner outer wall shrinks that is the thinner outer wall will shrink and the curvature of the inner wall reduces the curvature of the inner wall reduces and in the process of reducing the stomata closes so we are saying that the opening of the stomata or the, i mean the closing of the stomata usually takes place when there is no light and because of this there is no photosynthesis meaning that the glucose that was manufactured during the day during the light season is going to be converted into starch and when it is converted into starch then the osmotic pressure of the gut cell falls down this brings about the epidermal cells to withdraw water from the gut cell and the gut cell becoming flaccid the thinner outer wall the one which is outside will shrink and the curvature of the inner wall reduces size stay with us as we continue